On today's episode, we're taking a look at the brand new V2, if you will, Tanner Malakos lightsaber, and we're gonna compare it to the V1, design-wise, weight-wise. Who is that chunky monkey? How it looks and how accurate it is to the video game. All right, let's get at it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Collector's Outpost. I am John. Now, we've actually taken a look at the first version of this lightsaber, which I have right here. Um, I believe it's the same manufacturer. This thing was a hefty monster. It is an absolute beauty. Now, if you remember when I first reviewed this, the chassis had a small problem with these exposed black and red wires right here. And what happened was is that I had to resolder this back on because I would pop it in there and the wire actually got snagged when I put the pummel on and it ripped right off. So it was a little bit of a flaw in the design, but they went back, retooled everything. They retooled the design, the whole chassis and all of that is brand new. So this is kind of the V2 version of the Taron Malakos. Now, this was sent over from Vader Sabres. Thank you so much for sending this over. I'll put a discount code and direct link for you down in the description if you wanna go over and check this out. Now, it comes in this beautiful, beautiful wooden box over here. We have a lightsaber and may the force be with you actually carved in there. And on the front, we have all the emblems and everything. So this is absolutely stunning. This is a, a beautiful box. Um, I actually have another one, let me show you. This is a little bit of a surprise. This is actually coming soon as a review coming, but this one comes in a tiny version of the box. Let me, let me show you. This is kind of like the box you see in Kenobi or Force Awakens where they open up the box and you can see the lightsabers inside. Now, let me give you a tiny, tiny little sneak peek at this one. Since this is an upcoming review, we do have that cave version of Luke's lightsaber. It's the deleted scene. We have the clamp card over here that opens up. You can get that exposed circuit board and everything in there. This thing is super, super cool. So look out for this one. This one's coming soon, but I love the fact that it comes in the same style box with May the Force Be With You on front there and all those emblems right there on the top. I love these boxes. They are such awesome display pieces because I think what I'm gonna do with this one is uh, display this, maybe uh, prop it up somehow and put this on display just like that. I love this. So that's just a little sneak peek for you, but look out for that, that's coming soon. Now, Taron Malakos was a character that we saw in Fallen Order. This lightsaber was a beauty from the first time we saw it in the video game. Now, again, like I said, they did retool the heck out of this thing. It is so much lighter. The same beautiful, beautiful work though, basically just scaled down, which is great. We do get some uh, lights down in here in the pommel. They uh, kind of carved out that section there and this will light up, so you'll see that in a second. But now, before we dig into this more and check everything else out, if you are new here, please drop down, hit that like, subscribe, and notification button for upcoming videos. It'll really help support the channel. So let's get into more of the details of everything that it comes with and the details between this version and the first version. Now, of course, we have all the basic necessities. We have an Allen key and we have more retention screws down there and our manual. It does have a USB battery charger and a beautiful, beautiful NeoPixel blade. Now, let's take a quick side-by-side -side look at the difference of these two sabers. Uh, they really scaled it down a lot. They took a lot of the weight out compared to the first one. We'll check out what, what it weighs in a second but they scaled it down a whole lot. A few things have changed. We have this section here, which you can see this uh, black uh, ring section over here. Now it's more kind of carved in and a part of that whole saber there. Um, the talons at the top here are significantly smaller. Uh, I want to say they're almost about a half an inch smaller compared to the first one. Now down over here, the pummels are very, very similar. I think this shape just changed a little bit over here. Um, this has a lot more of an angle where this kind of just kind of cuts more in like a 90 degree angle, not quite 90 degree, uh, but you can see this is more of an angle and this has a lot less, but everything else looks about the same. Um, again, the new one here has all the lights coming through here. So they did carve out the inside and the whole butt head over here, <laughs> the, uh, the absolute bottom half of the pommel. Uh, is shaped different. The older one had some more like inner designs here, if you can see that a little. This one is a lot more clean and straightforward. 
The handles here are pretty much the same, scaled down a little bit. This is slightly different, but the same exact design. Now let's move up over here and look at the design here. Now on the first one, our button and auxiliary were right here. We had the black and we had the secondary little nipple right over there. Um, on this new version, this is just decorative. Our buttons are on the back. We have two uh, buttons over here, our activation and our auxiliary right over there. Now the important thing is the chassis design because I did have a problem with the first version and that was the wire getting snagged and yanked off and I had to resolder that back. Now the new one, they retooled everything. We have a nice, super clean chassis. Uh, this is a Profi. We have our kill switch right up there. We got our power, auxiliary. But you can see this uh, install here is much, much cleaner than the previous install. There are no exposed wires, so you don't have to worry about getting anything snagged. Um, the first chassis did have direct USB-C charging, but this one you have to actually take the battery out to charge this one. I do rather take my batteries out and charge them. I have a, uh, you know, a multi-charger with four different batteries that I can charge at one time. So I usually just take all my batteries out anyway. The first version looks like it's weighing in at 2 pounds, 0.9 ounces. All right, let's take a look at the new version. This is weighing in at 1 pound, 0.1 ounce. That is a significant difference. That is basically a pound less. So, and it's a huge, huge feel. It's gonna be a lot easier to swing the new one around than the old one because with every added ounce, it makes that swing that much harder. Let me tell you, if you have the first one and you are interested in getting this one, I would say keep the first one too because this is kind of like, he does have two sabers and this is kind of like having a Shoto version of the original one. That is super cool. Now, the cool thing is when you power on, we do have the lights that uh, light up the pommel here which is absolutely incredible. Really like that. You know what would have been cool is that if you could see a crystal actually in there. Um, the LEDs are stunning, but could you imagine looking in there and there's like a little crystal kind of lighting up in there? That would have been a, a great addition. Maybe the V3, who knows? Let's zip over to Vader Saber's website. This is Shadow and Taron Malakos inspired lightsaber. So this comes empty for $2.99 or you can get it in Profi. This is Profi here. And let's select, a, I usually go with 32. Um, you can get it with a case or without a case. So with a case, $4.59. And without a case, I guess just a regular uh, cardboard box that you've seen many of them come in, uh, $3.79. So it's cool that you have options to kind of go either direction, uh, save yourself a couple bucks, or go all the way with the case. So before we pop the blade in, I want to point out one last thing that it comes with, uh, and that is a really great blade plug. I really like when lightsabers come with, you know, rather simple blade plugs. I don't like all those big turbines and weird stuff. Some some stuff is cool, like uh, Vader Sabers all, also has uh, these things here, which are very simple, uh, but very effective looking. I really, really like those. And kind of go with your own style if you want, but I really do love some of these more simple ones like that. They, they feel like they're in universe. But uh, if you're anything like me, I do display all of these things um, after I'm done reviewing them. So having a really finished package, um, let's say like a display pommel or even a really nice simple blade plug so that when it's on the shelf, it looks like a real movie prop. So the first thing we'll do is just check out how many sound fonts are in here. So there seems like there's 30 or so sound fonts installed on here, which is a ton of stuff. So let's try a few out and see what we have here. I am a Jedi, like my father before. Now this has a really nice sound to it. Kylo Ren. It's one of those sabers that aren't too loud. It's not ear piercing. It's definitely not too low. Beautiful. <laughs> That's intense.
This one's pretty cool. Kind of just fluctuating between blues and reds and yellows and everything. Power. And this is great. We do have a dedicated power font. So as your battery goes down, you will see this little pulsing spot move down on the neck. So we are at 100% there. I love when there's some sort of indication of power anywhere. Now we can change the color by hitting auxiliary and power. So hold auxiliary, hit power, and then you just give a twist. And then when you find the color you want, you just hit the power button again. If you wanna go directly into mute, you're gonna hit the power button twice. And then as soon as you deactivate it, turn it back on, the volume's back. So adjusting your volume is super easy. You're gonna hold the auxiliary for about a second. And then power up and down are your volumes up and down. So up and down. Now when you hit all the way at the top or all the way at the bottom, that tone does change. So then you can just lock it in by hitting auxiliary for about a second again. Good to go. Zipping through your fonts are pretty easy. You're gonna hold up to go one direction. And if you wanna go back, flip it upside down and back the other direction, just by hitting auxiliary. Now we have, when do you think I'm gonna learn that there's a ceiling fan there? My God. We have smooth swing. We have our blasters. We have lock up. Twist on and twist off. Their destiny should be trusted to the force. We even have swing on. So thank you so much to Vader Savers for sending this over for everybody to check out. Again, I'll put a direct link and discount code for you down in the description if you wanna check this out. And while you're down there, hit that like, subscribe, and notification button for upcoming videos. I will see you all on the next video. Be safe and kind out there in the world. See ya.